And, of course, this is Lucille. I'm not good with this. It's a guy I work with me called Leon Warren. He's fantastic. And so many good guitars, they can... So I do use the... Sometimes. When I should use it all the time. But to be able to tell my little stories... Seems like I can measure the strokes down, but can't measure them so much coming up. I could never use the bottom neck or the slide as some people do. I still can't. And I guess one of the reasons I never did practice as hard at trying to do that as I should have, maybe I would have learned, because I believe you can learn to do anything that you really want or anybody else can do. You can learn some of it anyway, but I never did practice enough trying to do it. Anyhow, when I would hear people play with the slide, you know, it sounds so good to me. And then they have another thing called the Hawaiian style. Guys have these things they be playing and this thing sounds so good. And to top it all off, you hear the country musicians that play country music. Man, they can get those steel guitars and it's just like a sword that goes through me hearing them play it. So I could never do any of that. Well, I started to trill my hand like this. To me, it reminded my, my ears would tell me, hey, that sounds a little bit like the bottleneck. So I would do this for hours. Now I'm not doing like some people think, some people think it is like that. I never do that. It's just a trill, a steady trill of the hand. And then I would hear him. I like the guitar to sound like it's singing. And so every time I'd sit down and start to play, that's what I would do. Not so much as I think the word pizzicata, not not like that, but to like a horn or something. And the sweetest sounds I ever heard is on the violin. I've never heard anything sounds so much like the violin. So anyway, to make a long story short, I would do that all the time. And then finally got to the place where I sit down. I can't play now without doing it. But it's still a sound that I heard from then to now. I still haven't found it. Don't know how to find it. Sometimes it seems like I'm getting closer to it. But I think the guitar should tell a story. It's just like me. If I was going to tell you a funny sh a joke or something, and I'd keep you in suspense until I get near the point, and then let you have it. So it's the same thing I think about the guitar. <laughs> getting your attention. I'm into the story. Convenient. For example, this one is most convenient, but I sometimes. You notice that? Either one is, is 
it's according to what the, the uh, position, according to what position I'm in at the time, mm -hmm. in which one feels most comfortable. So we're all for it. I'm not always, but when I do get a chance, I usually try to run scale. Uh, just, just little. I call it noodling, uh, doodling, you know. Does. I mean, I'll run the, the scale or, shall we say, um, run the notes of the chord a lot of times, the ones I can think of. But to me, uh, this is not good for students, so remember this. Learn the chords. Learn the notes and the progressions. I didn't do it well, but you can. You can do it well, and that is play um, the scales, play the chords, and um, learn them well. I didn't, because most times when I get ready to play, people would always say, you know, the ones that I'm working with would say, uh, play the solo, man, play the solo, and like a dance, I'd go out and do it. So it always put me out front and never let me really work in the rhythm section. So I think my point I'm trying to make, work with the rhythm section. <laughs> now, I don't say don't play some things, you know, because to me, I can amuse myself, man. I could be around and nobody had to talk to me, say anything, or even feed me if I can hear sort of like food for me. So I do a lot of that before the shows. If that what it takes, baby, to pull me through. For example, one of the first things that I learned, and as a blues player, we use it all the time. One, four, in nearly everything you do but there are some some blues tunes that a lot of people don't believe but you you got some that's eight bars I could never be a good teacher but that's another style, another way of playing that a lot of people don't know that we blues play, players use that. You do use that for a lot of tunes like, oh, ah, Play that are not just a regular 12 bar blues. 